Chair. Um, I, I come from county land, so this is a, a fun exercise. Congratulations on getting one of the better responses to a bill uh, here in our, our uh, chambers. But um, I am uh, trying to think of where the County of Orange, uh, where I served as supervisor for eight years, where we did an outsourcing and where we had big issues. And I, I, I'm, I'm having a tough time that it, it's got to be a pretty small percentage of if they're not just surfacing right away. So I, I appreciate that you're saying this is not a ban and that it's permissive, but I, I, I'm kind of looking at the whole, the big picture, and I'm, I'm seeing California, which just this week announced uh, through our state controller that we were short in our revenues by nearly $3 billion for the 2016-17 fiscal year. So um, that's something that's facing our counties and our cities. Uh, we have increasing pension plan contributions this week. The city of LA was told by their pension system that they were going to lower the investment assumption rate. So now Mayor Garcetti has to deal with larger contributions and squeezing things out of his budget. So we're looking at a trend where states and counties, and counties are the subsidiary of the state. We do your work. Um, and, and, and I just see, I see this squeezing uh, going on. Uh, we're watching states like Connecticut and Illinois that are having cash flow problems. Illinois is not paying their lottery winners right now uh, because they have no cash. So I'm, I'm trying to look at the big picture of, you know, not outsourcing, but, you know, how do we, how do we outsource more? How do we work through a difficult financial uh, situation? And so I'm trying to find some balance because you've got some wonderful partners on both sides. You've got labor and you've got nonprofits. And I, I, I guess if I gave some advice, I'd say to labor, be careful how hard you push this thing because the perception isn't good. Um, having to have a, 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 a state employee or a county employee do every small little function kind of gets, I, I, it seems like an extreme to me. Just uh, two days ago, ask me, filed a claim because a university in Michigan had hired a crew to clean out poison ivy. And the claim was we should have union workers cleaning the ivy. Well, the University of Western Michigan, which the Western Michigan University, they hired a, a herd of goats to eat the ivy. And, and so it, this perception is, wait, wait a second, what, what's going on? Um, so I, I just, I just want to say that because you used two key words. One was trust and the other was waste. And so we got to find some balance here where we're, we're doing the good work of what government should be doing with our community uh, members uh, and, and we should be fair. So now you tell me that we have an amendment to exclude Santa Clara County, which kind of gets us back to the budget trailer bill that I complained about earlier this morning, and that is we exempt out Marin County for building affordable housing. It just sends such a lousy message that if we're going to start excluding certain counties for whatever reason um, out of a bill, that it, 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 it kind of just destroys the credibility of what we're trying to do. So. Um, I think California has to get ready for some seismic shifts here. Things are going to be happening if, if our internal costs keep inflating. We need partners. We need to outsource. And we, we can't afford, literally with the pension contribution, we can't afford more employees. The, the, the cost differential is dramatic. And so putting uh, such an onerous burden on counties um, I'm having trouble with that, and, and, and I don't think it's fair to the taxpayers. It, it, it sends the wrong message. It's who's your daddy? Who's, who's running government? <laughs> Who is running government? And I think that needs to, I think that needs to be addressed, and I'm, I'm willing to bring that up, Mr. Chair, because we've got to convince our taxpayers that we're running the best, most efficient government that we can, and we can't favor one party over another. We need some good balance here. 
And so that's where I'm at, and I'll be opposed to the bill. Thank, Thank you, Mr.